Hi guys, this is Sveta Dressmaker and we make today a trench coat Tiffany. This is the second part of this project. If you haven't watched yet the first part of the video, you definitely need to start with it first, then come back to this video. Also check out as well crop puffer vest pattern that's so easy to make and it can be perfect outerwear for autumn and mild winter. So let's continue work on our project. We will connect lining sleeves with external sleeves on hemline. Right and left external sleeves place near each other. Lining sleeves turn on the wrong side. Match up the right lining sleeve with the right external sleeve and left lining with the left external as well. You can also check it by cup lines. Then insert lining sleeve in external sleeve, match up hemline, inseams should be lined up, pin around, sew 1 cm away from the edge. Let's make first a sleeve head roll. It's a short piece of fabric that forms a kind of platform and support the sleeve head and avoid wrinkles. For suits and winter coats it usually can be made of wadding, but we will use cotton and will fuse it. So measure up curved sleeve cup line, for example 23 cm. On bias draw two rectangles with 23 cm of length and 5 cm of width. Then fuse them on interfacing. Then steam this piece with an iron, forming a curved shape. As it cut on bias, it will be easier to achieve this shape. Then attach to the upper cup on the wrong side of external sleeve. Sew around 5-6 cm from the edge. When it's done, turn sleeve lining on the right side, press seam allowance towards to lining. Put lining inside, roll down about 2 cm of external hem seam, so lining will be shorter than the hem line. On seam you can hand stitch and press over. To fix created hem, Make a blind stitch at fold on the wrong side of external sleeve. Then take front lining and sew to the bottom part with hem facing right sides together. Press seam allowance towards to lining. Then sew facing external with front lining, matching notches right sides together. At the bottom create a fold and line up with hemline edge. 
so 1 cm press seam allowance towards the lining. Top stitch 1 2 mm on lining near seam ditch. Give a press to a fold on lining. Sew both external back panels on central back line, down from the neckline point to the end of vertical line. Slit leave not sewing yet. Press semilons open. Then place back yoke on front external with the right sides up. Sew around armhole, shoulder lines and neckline 5 mm. Same for front facing, place on front, sew on neckline, shoulder and armhole 5 mm. So you have assembled front panels back, then sleeves with buckle straps, ready collar, epaulets, back loop and belt loops. Also assembled front lining, back lining. Now we will connect front and back panels of external and lining layers on shoulder line and side lines. First assemble external layer. Match shoulder lines of back panel with both front panels, right sides together, so 1 cm. Then match side lines. The front will be a bit shorter. They should be attached the front hem later, so 1 cm, all the way down from armhole basement to the front hem line. Leave 1 cm of seam allowance at the front hem line not stitched. In a similar way, assemble front and back lining. Place right sides together, so shoulder line and side seams. Back lining shorter. So leave 1 cm of seam allowance not stitched at the front hem. Press seam allowance at shoulder and side seams open for both external and lining layers. Each assembled sleeve pieces place on the corresponding side, left sleeve on left side of coat, right on right side of as well. Find the upper cup notch on the external sleeve, mark and then match it with the shoulder line of assembled front and back layer, right sides together. Then match the lower armpit point on under sleeve cup with the side seam point on armhole. Then match up remaining parts of distance on the armhole. At the top of the armhole create small gathers, so pin frequently that distance. Gently and evenly distribute the excess ease of the sleeve head.
hand by stitch around armhole in order to gather it gently to get it to fit. Remember that sleeve head should not have any visible gathers when sewn. Usually coating wool fabric smooths the process so it's easy to fit sleeve into the armhole. So when you sew it with 1 cm of seam allowance at the head of sleeve should be some ease in order to achieve a better form for shoulder. Seam allowance of the armhole press down towards the sleeve. Then place assemble lining face to face on the assembled external layer. Sew the outer central front extending line 1 cm all the way down. Then turn on the right side, fold the outer central front extending line, press over it. After attach sleeve with assemble front and back on lining layer in the same way as for external layer. Right sides together, 1 cm of seam allowance. So let's attach collar to neckline. Mark all notches that is on the stand and neckline. Place collar in between external and internal layers. Make sure under collar faced up and matching external back panel. First match both central notches, then shoulder all the way to the end of collar. There should be also a notch on the lapel, 
so match it with the end of color. Clip short notches on the gorge line at the angle to avoid bulkiness on neckline. Turn on the right side collar and pull gently angles on lapel with the help of needle. Press over neckline, creating a nice shape of collar. To fix position of lining, you will need to hand stitch in a few points between lining and external layer on the wrong side, points between shoulder line, shoulder upper point and armhole. I suggest to create a 1-2 cm length loop like I show in the video. Now we will work on the finishing hemline and then slit on central back line. First sew this short line from central front to the marked point as on video. Leave 1 cm of seam allowance at the end of the line not stitched. Then sew front hem side with the lower part of back, just as I show it, right sides together, press seam allowance open.
finish sewing back external hemline with the back lining hemline, leaving 1 cm of seam allowance at the end of seam, right sides together. Turn on the right side, press seam allowance up towards the lining, external layer will be longer and folded over internal layer around 4 cm, so lining will not be popping outside when you will wear trench coat. Then only left to finish those three lines. So first short angle, sew along leaving seam allowance at the end not stitched. Make it for the both sides. Cut a bit angle, avoid bulkness, turn on the right side. The remaining two distances you will need to sew from internal side of garment, so for that unstitch around 10-15 cm of side seam at the lining and throughout this gap turn trench coat on the wrong side. So here at the angle of lining slit make a cut and match it with the corresponding angle of external slit. Sew a long vertical slit right sides together, creating a fold on the lining. This tuck you can fold towards up and top stitch over it. Same for other side. Finish sewing both horizontal distances by matching up center point. Clip the notch at the angle. Line up corresponding distances and sew along 1 cm. Then turn entire garment on the right side, give a press to hem. Also you can top stitch on a slit from both sides to make it stable. Before to turn coat on the right side, attach side pocket at the seam allowance with central front extended line, create a loose loop. Top stitching over lapel and central front extended line is also optional.
So let's make a closure on the front panels. Copy out button hole and button placement on the right side of both front panels. My button width is 2 cm, so I draw a short horizontal line with the same measurement. Set up a buttonhole stitch program on your machine and make few stitches. Then sew on the other side button by hand. On the left side of front, you can sew just buttons. Buttonholes are not necessary here. Make only one buttonhole on the front yoke. Also throughout the gap on the lining, top stitch a pallet loops on the shoulders. This step actually will be easier to do when your external not attached to lining layer yet. Insert a pallet and sew button on it. Attach back loop over back facing and sew button. Then for pieces of belt loops, sew on the waist of back panel. Also you can prepare a waist belt and attach it to the buckle. When everything is done, close the gap on the side lining by top stitching it. Insert buckled sleeve straps. Check if button fits the buttonhole. Then place waist belt into the belt loops. And it's done! Trench coat Tiffany is ready! I will be so glad to see your makes with the hashtag Sveta Dressmaker. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Etsy and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time! Bye!